<laughs> it was gorgeous though. Everyone was going very slow. So that helped me because where I live, we only go 20 miles an hour. I had a magical childhood. I grew up in the suburban area of Virginia and my dad was a baker and my grandfather was a baker and my uncles were bakers. Brenner's Bakery in Alexandria, Virginia, if you ever were there. I was there for 75 years. So my dad would come home with icing down the front of his shirt, you know, and, and the dog would lick his shoes clean every night, <laughs> the powdered sugar and the dough. And he was sweet like that too. He was a very, very kind man. So my childhood was lovely. And then when I was 34, my mom was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. And our family changed and my life changed because it just you know, wakes you up. And I was with my mother and we went through all the treatments. And then six months later, I found a lump in my breast. And it too was cancer. And it felt like cancer was sweeping my family away. I'm gonna play for you two songs from the soundtrack, Another Year Blooms, and Dead Girl Walking, so I'm going to grab an instrument. This song is Another Year Blooms, and I wrote it for my mom. Because after she was diagnosed, she'd say she lived for two years really well. She said, I wonder if I'm going to see the daffodils bloom this year, for a couple of years. So I wrote a bunch of sad songs. And then I wrote this one. My garden in springtime returns you to me in heavenly hues that could make the living weep earthly fragrance of a rose fades from me with each season grows something new another year blooms so this is that sweet little song that girl walking and I wanted to say what it was like. It sounds kind of harsh, that title. But at the end of the day, maybe we're all dead girls walking. Because none of us get out of here alive, right? So we're all walking, you know, this road. Sometimes it's fearful, you know. But a lot of times it's beautiful. So I'll bring you safely back home the end of the song. <laughs> like being dropped into a basement and in that basement it's dark and it's lonely and the people that could come into that basement with me were the ones that helped body image you know to live in this world without boobs in this titty world is very difficult so every day when I go out out there you know I have to I mostly forget about it <laughs> 
There's plenty to worry about during cancer. But there's something else to consider. And people call me insanely positive. I'm definitely the glass is half full, the glass is overflowing kind of person. So for me it was, how is this good? How is this experience going to make my life better? Mostly we're here to help each other. We're choosing to live while we're alive. Because you're here today. You're choosing to be alive and be a part of a community. It's really special.